So hello and welcome all signs. This is going to be your reading. We're going to take a look at what's going on in this connection. I'm going to try to read you on this side and the person that you're dealing with on this side. But if you feel like the roles are reversed, then feel free to swap. We'll be reading with Lenormand today. And if needed, we will clarify with a title. Uh, make sure to follow and subscribe so you know when I come up with a new reading. And thank you all for being here. It, it means a lot. So, yeah, let's... Uh, let's begin. Aries! So, this is going to be your reading. We're going to take a look at what's going on in this connection. I'm going to try to read you, Aries, on this side and the person that you are dealing with on this side. But if you feel like the roles are reversed, then feel free to swap. So let's see what's going on between you and the person that you are dealing with. Aries. I'm going to start with you, Aries, and then move over towards your person here. <clears throat> but you are, it's like you are overthinking something, Aries, or something that you just can't get, get out of your mind. Um, it's almost like you're trying to listen to, uh, to your feelings. Or make up the best decisions because in your mind this connection is is uh, is perfect like it's stable you do got your uh, stability it's uh, it's comfortable you know them it's uh, familiar but by the looks of it by your uh, feelings here Aries it's uh, it's like it's fading but you're not feeling it. Yeah. Or, or at least right now you're not feeling it as uh, as much as you used to. It's like it's uh, day by day it's, it's fading away, Aries. So a lot of thinking on your side. Uh, Yeah, let's take a look at your your person here. Because they can the the thing that you are thinking, Aries, this stability, this comfort, this uh, uh, well, you know, each other for quite some time. They are feeling it. So that's where uh, you are different here. Like they are feeling this uh, well, this content with you. Like everything is uh, stable, uh, they do want to go the the distance here uh, with you. But I don't know if you have told them this that this is something that you are worrying about, because they are. It's like they are wanting to make changes. They want to change, do more activities. Yeah, it's like a knowing within them that something needs to change here and wanting to do more with you. But they're not, I don't, so it's almost like they're not telling you this. Let me just. <coughs> OK, 
can be a person with a few words, Pisces. Pisces, Aries, sorry. It was because the. Yeah, they do have uh, it's like they are ready to adapt Aries uh, after you like this person cares for you so much so it's like um, I'm gonna change or whatever you need I will uh, try to bring to the to the table here because uh, well I do I do care for you Yeah, you are wanting this uh, um, feeling again of love, Aries, once more. And your person is afraid of things ending. So you both are fighting for this, um, for this connection, like trying to make it work. You are wanting to find a spark again and this person is just, uh, well, don't want to, we don't want to lose you. So. Aries, uh, that's what I had for you. Thank you and bye. Taurus, so this is going to be your reading where we're going to take a look at what's going on in this connection. I'm going to try to read you, Taurus, on this side and the person that you're dealing with on this side. But if you feel like the roles are reversed, then feel free to swap. So let's see. What do you need to know? What's going on? Between you and the person that you are thinking about or dealing with. Taurus. So, Taurus, I'm going to start with you and then move over towards your person here. This is a lot of... Like, not trusting... Not trusting them or just yourself, uh, Taurus, when it comes to them. But it's like... This person or this situation uh, doesn't make you uh, happy anymore. It brings out more pain when you are dealing with them than anything else. But you still care for them. You still look at them. Oh. When you do think about them, it's it's love behind it. But it's just not working. And it comes to that point where, well, yeah. They're just not good for you, Taurus.
yeah let's take a look at your person here it's almost like the, uh, you do have the similar energy towards one another Taurus because um, they as well when they do think about you uh, they do have uh, well love and care behind it like so much emotions towards you but it's like you both know that this is not working anymore Taurus they might, have, might be the one that uh, got more insecure from the uh, start but you were the, uh, the one that cut it off almost yeah but I kind of do see that you both are going your separate ways here um, Yeah, but you both are only think oh. can be that you still are thinking about the love that you used to share and that's what's on your mind like you're reminiscing because in your actual feelings uh, Taurus both you and this person it's like it's it's not there it's almost like it yeah it has uh, faded away for both of you so you are holding on to the to the past or the idea of you but in reality it's like you both have walked your separate ways here you trying to think more about your um, stability again focus more on your family and they are just trying to uh, well find some happiness yeah small victories so Taurus uh, that's what I had for you thank you and bye Gemini so it's going to be your reading we're gonna take a look at what's going on in this connection I'm gonna try to read you Gemini on this side and the person that you are dealing with on this side but if you feel like the roles are reversed then feel free to swap so let's see what's going on between you and the person That you are dealing with Gemini So, Gemini, I'm going to start with you and then move over towards uh, this person. But I kind of do see, Gemini, that you are... Like somebody that just like people uh, su surrounds themselves around you so a lot of good energy that you are sending out like a like a joyful person but you do got your eyes on this uh, special somebody and but it's Uh, 
right. Because I'm not sure, Gemini, if you are uh, together with this person. Because there's a lot of focus on you, but it's like your energy is so... Uh, it's so welcoming like you suck people in with your uh, your good uh, good vibes and this person is like they have stepped out of their comfort zone uh, doing unusual things or want to do unusual things with you because they well they haven't met somebody like you even though it's like they have not made, met anyone like you but there is such a familiar uh, feeling when it comes to you like they have known you longer than they have it's a very welcoming welcoming feeling but they got their eyes on you they uh, are interested in you it's like they're looking forward to uh, well, ask you out or do things uh, together with you, uh, Gemini. But I kind of do see you. Uh, it's a lot. Yeah, it's a. It's a focus on. On yourself. Here. And of course, you do have such a beautiful energy towards this person. Yeah, with the moon, Gemini here as well. It can be that you are um, uncertain that this person is so uh, into you, because this is just you in your uh, normal day. Just doing you. And this person here is uh, it's like really stepping out of their comfort zone, because they uh, want to go towards you. So I do see them more being as a, a loner while you are more open like uh, surrounded by people yeah so Gemini uh, that's what I had for you thank you and uh, bye Cancer, so it's going to be your reading. We're gonna take a look at what's going on in this connection. I'm gonna try to read you, Cancer, on this side and the person that you are dealing with on this side. But if you feel like the roles are reversed, then feel free to swap. So let's see what's going on between you. And the person that you are dealing with. So, Cancer, I'm going to start with you and then move over towards the person here. But it's a lot of um, stability when it comes to, uh, well, when it comes to you, that like you're looking for something uh, that will last here, Cancer. And I kind of do see that this is uh, known to this person, like you have told them. I am... Um, yeah, I do want something serious. I know I'm done with games. Yeah. And it's like you're hoping for the best here, Cancer, that they, uh, that they are after the same thing. A little bit of nervous. 
as well because it's like you you don't know how they will say or do to this yeah so a little bit of unknown uh, here when it comes to their action but let's take a, a look cancer it's almost like they are either lying to you cancer or to themselves it's like they it's like they are saying that they are open to this like they want to try they want to give it a try um, they are after the same thing but I, it's uh, like they, they don't even believe their own words here uh, cancer because in their mind they have already starting to uh, separate themselves from you and it's like they just want to go out and explore something something else so they might be saying the the things that you want to hear but I don't see them acting on it a little bit of uh, afraid of being tied down uh, this person yeah I'm not sure if you or that even you believe this or believe in them cancer because you are very uncertain on uh, on them here this can be a uh, that you already know like it is this person is uh, yeah, it's a lot of uncertainty from your side when it comes to them that's why it's like you already know and for them they do have the grave here as well cancer so it's like they can see the the ending already yeah but cancer at least you know uh, what it is that you are wanting so that's that's always good so cancer that's what I had for you thank you and bye Leo so this going it's going to be your reading we're gonna take a look at what's going on in this connection I'm gonna try to read you Leo on this side and the person that you're dealing with on this side but if you feel like the roles are reversed then feel free to swap but let's see hey what's going on between you and the person that you are dealing with Leo Hey. down in front of me please
So, Leo, I'm going to start with you and then uh, move over towards your person here. There's a lot of uncertainty from your part, Leo, uh, when it comes to this uh, person or this connection. It's like you're not, it's like you have no clue wh uh, where it will end. Please. Um, but it's like you are hoping for the best. You do have uh, a lot of emotions towards them. Oh. When you do think about it and you do see, uh, you do feel, you do it with I get care, that you care for them, Leo. This is just kind of you just hoping, hoping for the best, for the best outcome. Even though it's a lot of insecurities between you two. Let's take a look at your your person here, or this person. I kind of do see them. Uh, almost escaping here Leo so that's why you can be this uh, confused and uncertain like what happened here because it's uh, it's almost from like uh, one day to the next it's like they were they were gone Yeah, could even be that they they blocked you. Leo. <laughs> Let's see. It's almost like everything was fine and the next day they were well, gone. Like uh, saying they can't can't do this anymore. It's like uh, for them in their in their like a uh, trapped feeling, Leo. Like this person was was feeling. have been that it's uh, this was getting too real or you got too close to them and it uh, it scared them yeah with a with a snake here as well Yeah, Leo, <clears throat> and I do see that you did in, uh, like you did try, you do have the, 
the energy here uh, it's like uh, you were caring towards them uh, you were uh, invite uh, like uh, like open to them you had your patience try to be understanding but it's like they told too many lies and felt trapped by their own lies and uh, so they uh, yeah so they left yeah so leo uh that's what i had for you thank you and bye let's see Virgo so this is going to be your reading we're going to take a look at what's going on in this connection I'm going to try to read you Virgo on this side and the person that you're dealing with on this side but if you feel like the roles are reversed then feel free to swap well, let's see what's going on between you and the person that you are dealing with what you're looking at So, Virgo, I'm going to start with you and then move over towards your person here. There's a lot of passion here between you, Virgo. It's like you... It's like you can't stop thinking about them, but not in a way that you are... Um, well, falling in love in them. It's more like you're missing... Uh, um, can't stop thinking about their well body or the passion because in your uh, they're not feeling it not really like uh, emotionally yeah, so this is more uh, lost Virgo yeah it's a lot of uh, a lot of thoughts of uh, what you're gonna do to them the next time you see them now uh, can be a, a distance thing as well Virgo uh, like you haven't seen each other for a while and this lust and passion is growing and growing uh, yeah but let's take a look at this person here Because they have their, they have, they have the same thoughts towards you. Like a lot of passion, wanting to uh, be with you. And it can be that something is evolving 
uh, more than just passion for them for you not that much for you it's almost like uh, you know that you shouldn't be doing this kind of feeling but you can't you can't stop and for them it's more uh, It's more uh, kind of hoping that something might evolve between you if they keep on doing this. Yeah. Because they do want to be with you, but it's a little bit more than just yeah, you just find them uh, very attractive and it's like uh, you know it's that you shouldn't be doing this but they are so uh, beautiful so a lot of lust from your side here yeah but it's it's more for them it's like the, it's it has evolved to something more. Virgo. And I kind of do see them wanting to talk about it. Yeah. So, uh, Virgo, you do have the same thoughts towards one another you do find each other uh, attractive you do have lots of passion towards towards each other but for them it's more almost starting to evolve like they can feel more than just this passion so virgo uh, that's what i had for you thank you and bye Libra, so this is going to be your reading. We're going to take a look at what's going on in this connection. I'm going to try to read you, Libra, on this side and the person that you're dealing with on this side. But if you feel like the roles are reversed, then feel free to swap. So let's see what's going on between you and the person that you are dealing with. So, Libra, I'm going to start with you and then move over towards your person. So Libra, it's almost like you are feeling or saying like you don't have you don't have time for this. You do find them attractive, but you do have other things on your mind Libra uh, than this this person here can we even be that you had a night together it's like you are focused on your own thing and 
and just feel like you don't have time for a, uh, a well a connection or another person right now you need to take care of yourself just like you are you have created this this wall libra for the moment because uh, you're focused on other things can even be that if you are with this person libra that you are that you have not paid much attention to them you have been uh, focused on something else you still care about them but it's like you have uh, blocked them out a little bit well, let's see let's take a look at this person here This person, Libra, might not even have uh, stepped forward yet. Like you, because this is somebody wanting to make an attempt of uh, seducing you. And with the moon here, it can be that you have, they have just not told you yet that this is what they were wanting to do. And you are focused on your own thing. It's like the person that you that you find attractive here, Libra, do have emotions towards you as well. Like fi is finding you attractive, uh, attractive as well. But they are wanting to make an attempt towards you. You are finding them uh, attractive, but you're focused on you. No. Let's see. yeah it's like somebody is uh, daydreaming about you and wanting to um, come forward here with a uh, fishes yeah mm. yeah uh, so you do have somebody uh, wanting to make an attempt here libra somebody that you don't uh, that haven't done it yet they haven't stepped forward yet but they are going to and you are focused on your own stability you work um, you do have your eyes on somebody here it can be this person that you are finding attractive but you don't got time for that yeah so it's this uh, this person that you're finding attractive uh, uh, Libra is stepping forward or wanting to step forward wanting to seduce you as they have some emotions towards you so Libra that's what I had for you thank you and bye Scorpio so this is going to be your reading we're going to take a look at what's going on in this connection I'm going to try to read you Scorpio on this side and the person that you are dealing with on this side but if you feel like the roles are reversed then feel free to swap so let's see what's going on between you and the person that you are dealing with Scorpio
So, Scorpio, I'm going to start with you and then uh, move over towards your person. It's like you are uncertain, Scorpio, what it is that you are wanting out of this or with this person. That's gonna Because it's like you do want something stable with somebody, something uh, that will grow. But you don't see, it's like you don't see them being, uh, yeah, it's like when you look into the, when you look into the future, Scorpio, it's like you don't see them there. <clears throat> so you can't picture a life together with them. Mm -hmm. It's like they're not the one that you are uh, looking for. But a lot of things may be uh checking in like on your on your list uh, Scorpio but you just don't see it can be that they are perfect on 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 paper but not for you But let's take a look at this person. It's like they are trying to convince you, Scorpio, that they are right for you. They do have lots of uh, love towards you. Lots of, uh, no, they do care for you, finding you attractive. And it's, uh, this person is not giving up. not on you it's like they're trying to uh, prove themselves or yeah they're trying to fight for you wanting this and this can be the the reason why you haven't uh, closed the door yet even though that you don't see them in the uh, or with you in the future it's like you have not closed the door not yet on them But but it's almost like you're doing it for them, like you're keeping the door open for them, not for you. But let's see. Yeah, this person is wanting to be with you, Scorpio. I'm gonna fight for you, and there's there's a lot of love behind it. Yeah, but while they are here fighting for you. Uh, you are more feeling like this is like you should just mm, almost just end it like the longer you keep on going with them or um, deceiving them
it's like the more you feel like this is yeah this is a mistake yeah. so it's almost like you are just keeping the door open just just for them for their for their sake yeah. like you want it to be nice or friendly like yeah because it's like you have made your up your mind uh, scorpio so scorpio uh, that's what i have for you thank you and bye sagittarius so it's going to be your reading we're going to take a look at what's going on in this connection i'm going to try to read you on this side and the person that you are dealing with on this side but if you feel like the roles are reversed then feel free to swap so let's see what's going on between you and the person that you're dealing with Sagittarius, I'm gonna buy, uh, start with you and then move over towards your person. It's almost uh, a fear, Sagittarius, that you are feeling here. Fear that things might not work. fear that they do not feel the same uh, something is worrying you can be as well that you are overthinking a lot of things because you do have uh, love towards this person but yeah but a lot of fear <clears throat> let's see let's take a look at the person here have you been on a on a break on a short break Sagittarius, because it's almost like this person is wanting to uh, break the silence. Can be that they do have something important that they want to say that they've been sitting on, but it's like, yeah, it's a feeling of breaking the silence here. Because they do want something uh, uh, stable. It's like they do want to tell you something. Yeah, they, they, this, this person is looking for um, something long term, something uh, stable. It can be after you did indeed have a, a break. And you with your own uncertainty where things will go. Yeah. So, 
Sagittarius. Can I do see them wanting to take the next step? It can be that this is what they are wanting to tell you. It doesn't have to be that you were on a break. This is just they do have something important to tell you, something they've been thinking about. Uh, for quite some time and now they're going to to say it and it is that this they do want this uh, stability it can be as well that you did indeed wear on a break and this break made them wanting to come more closer to you because they are yeah breaking the silence here and for you you do care for them but there is a fear within you it can be the fear of the unknown Because it's like you do have the owls here as well, so it's almost like you've been uh, asking about them or spying on them as well. Yeah, so say that is that's what I had for you. Thank you and bye. Capricorn, so it's going to be your reading. We're going to take a look at what's going on in this connection. I'm going to try to read you uh, Capricorn sorry, on this side and the person that you're dealing with on this side. But if you feel like you are on the other side, then feel free to swap. Let's see what's going on between you and the person you are dealing with So, Capricorn, I'm going to start with you and then move over towards the person here. You kind of do see an uncertainty here, Capricorn, uh, what it is that you are feeling towards them. It can be somebody new, because it's like you are... Just wanting to see where things go right now so you're keeping your like your doors open towards this person you do find them attractive and it's like yeah let's let's see where where things go um, not putting so much pressure to it Yeah. It's like they are nice, they are good looking. Uh, let's see. Can be as well, Capricorn, that you are wanting to ask this person out. Yeah, well, let's see. <clears throat> oh, yeah, Capricorn. This is somebody that you are interested in, that you do want to ask them out. They don't know that you are, um, you haven't told them yet or asked them out yet, but because uh, it is a little bit of, um, you are a little bit nervous here. We do have a Ace of Cups as well. But it's like the time for it because they have not done it yet it 
yeah so you are done sitting here waiting for things to happen you're gonna make it happen so you're gonna ask them out um, now for them kind of do see them having uh, had dreams about you Capricorn they do uh, there is a there is a happiness here when they think about you or when they talk to you when they see you it's like a, a warmth that they feel now let's see because can be that they are one second can be that they are coming out of something Capricorn right now like something else so there we'll see if their doors are opened or closed at this moment <coughs> It's like this person they are not at this moment looking for love uh, because they have just come out of something so it's like there's not it's not in their picture uh, but if you would uh, step forward here because I kind of do see you thinking of ways of doing it or if or not if maybe uh, maybe tomorrow it's like you're thinking of ways of doing it or even if you should do it uh, I kind of do see it being like as a as a surprise like you are coming out of nowhere uh, they, they were not expecting this Capricorn but there is a lot of warmth when it comes to you I kind of do see them as well healing right now it can go either way here so Capricorn that's what I had for you um, as uh, and the roles can be reversed as well Capricorn so you might be uh, coming out of something and are not looking for love and this person is just wanting to come towards you you know which side you are on uh, but yeah Capricorn that's what I had for you thank you and bye Aquarius so it's going to be your reading we're going to take a look at what's going on in this connection i'm going to try to read you aquarius on this side and the person that you are dealing with on this side but if you feel like the roles are reversed then feel free to swap so let's see what's going on between you and the person you are dealing with Aquarius
So, Aquarius, I'm going to start with you and then move over towards your person here. It's a lot of caring for this person, Aquarius. Like you do indeed care for them. Uh, and uh, it's a... Uh, like you are seeing them as somebody well almost as a as a, as a friend Aquarius but it's uh, it's almost like there like there is where it stops like you care for them you see them as a, a friend but not much more than that. Yeah. And I can as you see as well that you uh, you have told them that you don't see them in a like you don't have those feelings towards them even though that you would like to have them because this is somebody uh, well loyal and tr trustworthy it's like you would like to have those feelings towards them but you you just don't You are a bit confused here, oh, but at the same time, it's like you are true. Now, for them, it's a more, they're more hurting over this. Aquarius, not sure where to go next. Feeling a bit, feeling a bit lonely, a bit closed down, but they are, they are hurting. They do have s can be that you do have something important to tell you, Aquarius. Or this is just them feeling that you that you are important to them. We will see. Yeah, it's almost like they will always cherish, cherish uh, the important memories uh, with you, Aquarius. Like you will not be forgotten anytime soon. <laughs> yeah. So, Aquarius, um, a lot of love and care that this person had towards you, but you were just not feeling, feeling the same. You did care for them. Um, yeah, but you just 
didn't feel it, not in that way. So, Aquarius, uh, that's what I had for you. Thank you and bye. Pisces, so this is going to be your reading. We're going to take a look at what's going on in this connection. I'm going to try to read you, Pisces, on this side and the person that you're dealing with on this side. But if you feel like the roles are reversed, then feel free to swap. So let's see what's going on between you and the person. That you are dealing with. Pisces. So, Pisces, I'm going to start with you and then move over towards your person. There is a feeling here, Pisces, like you are not getting what you are after uh, with this person. Um, yeah, it's like you need to look after yourself first. It's like this this person is not giving you what you what you need, so you rather be alone than uh, than deal with this person or with their indecisiveness. Let me just take a look here, Pisces. <clears throat> yeah. It's like you'd rather, rather be alone, Pisces. Uh, you're, you're just not wanting to deal with them anymore. Because um, every time they step in or they get closer, it's like they, uh, they bring more pain than happiness. <coughs> Sorry, Pisces. Um, yeah. It's like you're done feeling... Uh, hurt over this person for them yeah there is it's almost like they're wanting to come back in again Pisces but more because it's like they're because I don't see their intentions being good it's like they want to see if they can seduce you again because it's, it's like as soon as they uh, if they manage to get to get you here Pisces it's like they're gonna leave again or being uncertain or um, well giving you some kind of lie it's almost like they are wanting to see if they if they well if you will forgive them yeah 
so they are uh, thinking of ways of coming back uh, in Pisces or coming your way can be with seduction can be uh, well with lies but I don't see them sticking around and for you you're just done with this uh, argument or discussion or with them like you don't want to fight anymore you don't want to be in this conflict like you want to take care of yourself instead yeah so Pisces that's what I had for you uh, thank you and bye